And meanwhile, all new tonight, dozens of hospitality workers took to the picket line. They're accusing the Intercontinental Hotel at the wharf of union busting. It all comes as a hotel announced a closing of Moon Rabbit. That is the critically acclaimed Vietnamese restaurant that's housed there. Our Mario Carbone live tonight at the wharf. Marielle, workers you spoke with believe this is a direct result of their efforts to unionize. Yeah, they do. And ironically, Chris, the workers that were trying to unionize were doing that as a way to get some stability here at their jobs. But now they say their livelihood is on the line and they're saying that this closure, which was sudden and swift, was a way to punish employees. Outside the Moon Rabbit restaurant, we are the union. workers are still reeling from Monday's news. I was confused. I was angry. Michael Cruz works at the Intercontinental Hotel at the Wharf, which announced this week it's closing Moon Rabbit, where he's been a server for the last two years. Well, Moon Rabbit restaurant is the largest department in the hotel. Um, it was really an attempt to intimidate us, um, to scare us. The closure comes just three weeks after Unite Here Local 25, a hospitality workers union, filed a petition for a union election for food and beverage workers here at the hotel. It's not a coincidence, and the hotel has done nothing but, uh, you know, fight them. Paul Schwab is secretary treasurer for Local 25. The workers have uh, always been concerned that um, the boss is playing around with their chips. There's no transparency. DC is a union town. Workers are angry, the workers are dedicated. Karen Cole, a spokesperson with IHG Hotels and Resorts, says the decision to close Moon Rabbit was in no way impacted by the union's ongoing efforts to unionize the hotel. And in a statement, Moon Rabbit chef Kevin Tien said, I ultimately wanted to offer Moon Rabbit as a standalone concept and look forward to continuing to share Moon Rabbit with diners. We liked working here, we love the wharf, we want this to be a career job. Now, it's unclear if the employees are still or still have jobs here, if they are still employees or not, because uh, even if they worked in the restaurant, they still are employees of the hotel. Uh, Cruz says as far as he's concerned, he is still employed. He just doesn't have any upcoming shifts. Reporting live from the wharf tonight, I'm Arielle Carbone, DC News Now.